Hello everybody, my name is Jake the Unsung Hero and today I'm going to be showing you two quick and easy tips to up your audio game in OBS to just take your stream to the next level. Uh, the first one is going to be called audio ducking or it's also known as side chaining. Basically what this allows for is this allows OBS to know when you're talking into your microphone and it will actually lower your desktop audio aka your game volume or your music volume, volume rather to make room for your voice. Uh, this can be super helpful whenever you struggle with making sure that your mixers are set to the right place so that nothing is overlapping sound wise um, and you can do this all within OBS so we're going to show you how to do this really quickly. Moving over to OBS you will see that we have our camera, we have our display capture, which is showing you OBS, and then we have our audio input capture. That's gonna be the microphone that I'm talking into right now. You can also look over here and you can see our background music right here, and you can see my microphone talking over it. I hope the background music's actually not too loud, but let's go ahead and work on that just to ensure that that's not an issue for our viewers. We're gonna pop in here, we're gonna to go to filters, now this is gonna pull up a window, let me move it down, let me resize this so you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, all right, so we have our filters for desktop audio. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and click this plus icon here. We're gonna go to the compressor. This is gonna get the job done for us today. You can leave it as compressor or you can rename it to ducking however you wanna remember it. You're gonna see a few different settings on here. You're gonna see ratio. This is gonna be kind of how aggressive the volume um, is lowered in comparison with your voice. We have a threshold. This is also kind of be aggressive. I'm not an audio guy. You may have to play with some of these. Bear with me. Now attack, that's going to be how soon after I start talking does my audio start going down? And then of course release after I'm done talking. How quick does it come up? Yes, I've written a bunch of notes. I apologize. Not very professional. I gotta have something written down now. Okay, so let's go ahead and forget about the output gain for today. If you want to mess with your uh, audio, I suggest that you do that with these sliders as far as gain goes. Um, it just is a little bit cleaner in my opinion. Alright, so I have changed these initial settings. I left the 10 to 1 essentially the same. I'm going to give you guys my settings. You may have to tweak and play with them on your own. Um, let's go ahead and change the... Whoops. What's going on here? Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and change this to 30, please. Is my numlock not on? What's going on? My three button not work? Why am I failing so hard? Three, zero. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Oh, I'm dumb. It's negative 30. I'm a dummy. I'm so sorry. It's negative 30. Boom, there we go, negative 30. Um, and then we're gonna move down to the attack, which I have my attack set to two because as soon as I start talking, I want that music to start moving. Now the release, I definitely increased a lot. The reason that I did this is like what I'm doing right now. Sometimes I will talk and I'll take a quick little pause before I finish my statement. You don't want your music going up and down like a roller coaster as you're doing that. You kind of want to give yourself that pause to finish what you're saying before the music goes up. So for that reason, I've set my release to 500. Again, we leave the output gain alone. Uh, now, as far as the sidechain ducking source, this is going to be whatever you want to go down when you start talking. I actually vice versa that. So whatever you want to duck, you're going to go in here and set this and whatever you want to trigger the ducking. I'm so sorry. You're going to select right here. In this case, it's going to be the audio input capture. So let's go ahead and click our audio input capture. This means every time that we talk into our microphone, these settings should apply to our desktop audio. Now let's go ahead and test that. I'm gonna go ahead and crank the music. As you guys can see, we're almost clipping, but whenever I start talking, the audio comes down. And then you'll see kind of a gradual rise. That way, if I wanna take a second, to kind of finish what I'm saying, it's not going to go all the way back up. And that's tip number one, guys. So super easy on that. Now that we have our audio ducking set up, we can kind of jam out um, while I show you this other tip. Now, this other tip is also super simple, and you can find it in the OBS settings. So if you click the OBS settings, you can come over to output. And essentially what we're doing here is we're trying to open up the floodgates 
for OBS to increase the quality of volume that comes out of your stream. How do we do that? By, incre by increasing the bit rate. So if we go over to output, you'll see that you'll have your video bit rate, which you probably know a little bit about and played with in the past. Um, today we're gonna be focusing on audio bit rate. Now you'll see that I have mine set to 320, which is the highest that it goes in OBS. Now, Jake, why are you bringing this to my attention? Typically when you download OBS, unless they have updated this, uh, last, whenever I downloaded OBS, I didn't know that the, um, the default setting for this was 160. When I found out that you could come in here and double it and go straight to 320, that upped the audio game on my stream. The stream started sounding a lot better. So you want to come down here and click apply. I'm, and then, okay, I'm not going to do that since we're recording right now. I don't want to mess with any settings. Um, but yeah, two quick and easy tips. One of them being audio ducking. Again, as I'm sure you can tell, the music has gone down while I'm talking. Let's, let's jam for a second. All right, it comes back up, but I still have it kind of reduced. And then obviously the audio quality is going to be much better if you have not changed that default setting in OBS. I hope you guys enjoyed the tips. Thank you so much for watching the video. Um, it helps a lot if you click this little subscribe button down here. And we typically do more gaming type content. I just told my stream I would make this video, so here it is. I hope some of my streamer friends and uh, anybody that I don't know watching is able to get some help. And if you just want to come and hang out with us, if you want to critique my video, if you want to tell me how trash it was, if you want to tell me how it changed your stream, you can either do that in the comments below or we stream three times a week uh, at twitch.tv slash jake the unsung hero thank you guys so much for watching the video i hope you have a great night and i hope to see you soon do you know what time it is where the baby tacos live come on and grab your rig it's time for damn clock clock